Now the real work starts. We have talked. We have discussed. What are we going to do? What is the future? What is our role? I request our beloved leader to address that. Thank you. It is indeed a wonderful opportunity. Before that, I would like to see the success of this conference due to the untiring efforts of Dr. Soma Ilangovan and it seemed particularly Karas, Kannavaran, Ravi Shankar and people like Sangarabandi, people like Arasu, people like and so many other our friends like Dr. Saroja Ilangovan, Jayanti and all these things, so many other things. We have learned many things from you. Even though we are very uh, pioneer in Tamil Nadu, how caring and sharing is to be done for a success. You are only beautifully, you have charted out the plan and everybody is taking a very keen interest. Particularly, our women's wing, they are, they are playing a very great role and I thank you profusely. Whether it is Harold Selby, whether it is other people, whether it is somebody else, all of them are our one family with a, and they are not projecting themselves. They are more concerned about the duties when they are interested with that. This kind of discipline is we must learn and we are learning. Thank you very much for that. And another thing is, Mr. Karunanadi and Tambaram Muthayan, who was in charge of the books of Periyar and our movement, they have given, you just announced that $1,200, they were able to, the donations were collected for the books. That means every periyar when he finishes his meeting with all great <coughs> troubles with his body and all these things, he will be gasping, get into the van, immediately, even before any settling, settling done, the first question he used to ask us who are around, who are with us, how much of books you have sold? That was the one question. If a newcomer is there, he will completely, he will immediately jump to the conclusion. How he is so much concerned about money, that will be his attitude. But really, if that is so, they have not understood Periyar. He will tell the next line, he will make a cryptic comment. Oh, 400 rupees. All our books are for two annas and four, four annas and all these things, very small things. And the people have bought to the tune of 400 rupees means so much of books, so much of ideas will travel and they will put into their minds. That is the success of this meeting. So the yardstick for him is the success so also the yardstick of the success of this conference is also our friends have taken the books. That is more important. I congratulate the conference arrangement and also those who are responsible for that. My dear friends, we have come to the concluding part of it, this conference. Future. We are all rationalists. Humanists, self-respecters. And we won't say like uh, the believers, it is not, future is not in my hands. He will do everything. There is one who is watching us. And he will dictate. And I am no more, I have no more role. Everything is done by him. That will be the attitude of the believer. But whereas we are rationalists, we will have to plan meticulously and we could plan it. So 
we could make a better life and we must provide happiness through the free mind as he said how to create a free mind that is more important the role of our youngsters particularly is much more important i am very happy our youngsters youths have come here and they offered wonderful comments and they recorded their thoughts and which are very hopeful that future is ours the future belongs to periyar future belongs to humanism future belongs to self respecters because people are fed up with religion people are fed up with god and as it said good without god in this land most of the people have forgotten about ingersoll ingersoll's comment was the noblest the honest god is the noblest work of man he was his comment even if you find an honest god that must be the noblest work of man he said that kind of attitude was there so we never believe in god forget god and think of humans is the slogan given by periyar so what we will have to plan is we must see a world full of rationality full of social justice secularism democracy and when there is an injustice one should not keep quiet particularly the younger generation they must you kindly imagine that had periyar been silent had periyar was not there in the scene what would have been the position whether we will be having this kind of right to putting our towel on our shoulders no not at all that is the important thing so i would like to request you all to think about the future plan about the future and you must volunteer that is more important however best the one thing that we could copy from here is even the position he over the forgetting their position they are volunteering they are doing so much of service and that service will give us a real pleasure that is why you will have to plan for the future particularly everything and by volunteering ourselves at least for this development of the movement the ideas of periyar and other things you must first start from the kids you have seen the young kids and the tiny tots who are able to see the periyar and we started like that so kindly inculcate the spirit of independence rationality and also whenever and wherever there is a scope you freely speak about the destruction of superstition there is no fatalism here but anyhow we will have to see that our work must go on carry the banner carry the torch and the youngsters plan it very well and so that of course there may be failures don't get discouraged don't expect immediate results periyar said you see here he was very persistent and consistent what is the difference between ramalinga dihalar and periyar just one thing ramalinga dihalar he told kadai viritten kolvar illai katti vitten avladha close i close my shop that was his attitude but periyar was not like that kadai viritten kollum varai ungalai vidamaten i will never close my shop somebody comes and sir sir the weekly we incur a loss how could we carry on the paper weekly paper he asks immediately then periyar said no whether somebody sub uh, buys it or reads it i don't bother i have started the movement 
I inaugurated the paper. I myself will write. I will myself will print. And I myself alone, even if it be a question, I will sit and read unsatisfied. This kind of determination, the commitment and involvement are very, very important for the success of our movement. So hence, my dear friends, let us all go with a resolve, a determination that future is in our hands and future belongs to Periyar. Not because he happens to be our leader, but because Periyar self-respect philosophy is nothing but social philosophy and social science. The science will always triumph over other things. That is 100% sure. Let us all go with the determination, resolve that we will carry the torch, we will spread Periyar. Already we have come to the United States. Now the globalizing Periyar and his thoughts and thereby making this as a better world of rationality and social justice and no inequality is there anywhere in any form. Let us have start. The battles we may lose, but ultimately we will have to win the war. Thank you very much.